Ghost Man Strange, the Cardiff Giant, was a ten-foot-tall, purported petrified man uncovered on October 16th, 1869, by workers digging in a well behind the barn of William C. Stubb Newell in C- Cardiff, New York. However, it was realised it was just a hoax, created by the New York tobacconist named George Hull. Being an aphasis, aphas, aphasis, Hull decided to create the giant after an argument with a fundamentalist minister named Mr. Turk about a, a passage in Genesis that started that there was, were giants who once lived on earth. The idea of a petrified man did not originate from Hull, however. In 1958, newspaper Alta California had published a bogus letter claiming a prospector had been petrified when he drank a liquid within a gaudy. Some of the other newspapers had also published stories of supposedly petrified people. George Hull hired a man to carve out a 10 foot long 4.5 block of jessamine in Fort Dodge Lower. lower. Telling them it was intended for a monument of Abraham Lincoln in New York, he shipped a block to Chicago where he hired a German stone cutter, cutter to carve it into the likeness of a man and saw him to secrecy. Various stains and acids were used to make the giant appear to be old and weathered, beaten. The giant surface was beaten with steel knitting needles embedded in a board to stimulate pores. When the giant had been buried for a year, Noah hired two men, Gideon Edmonds and Henry Nichols, obstructively to dig a, a well. Then they found the giant. One of them had been attributed to saying, I declare some old Indian has been buried here. Newell set up a tent over the giant and charged 25 cents for people who wanted to see it. Two days later, he increased the price to 50 cents. The giant drew such crowds that showman P.T. Barham offered 60000 for a three-month lease of it. In his memoirs, he said he wanted to buy it. When the syndicate turned him down, he hired a man to covertly model the giant's shape in wax and create a plastic replica. He put this giant on display in New York, claiming that his, uh, this was the real, the real giant of Cardiff. Giant and the Cardiff giant was a fake. On February 2nd, 1870, both giants were revealed to be fakes in court. Judges ruled that Barman would not be sued for calling a fake giant a fake. The Cardiff giant appeared in 1901 Pan American Exploration, Exposition, but did not attract much attention. An Aurora publisher brought it later to dawn his basement rumpus room on a, as a coffee table and conversation piece in 1947 he sold it to the farmer's museum in Cos- Copperstown, New York where it's still a display the only Marvin's marvellous mechanical museum a coin operated card arcade and a museum of oddities in Farham in Mi- Hills Richardson claims a replica on display there is Barlow's replica in popular culture, in, 19, in 1870, Mark Twain wrote a ghost story in which the ghost of Cardiff Giant appears in a hotel room in Manhattan to demand that he be reburied. The giant is so confused that he haunts Barham's plaster copy of himself. In 1871, Frank Brown published a poem entitled The True Origin of the Cardiff Giant. His poem at newspaper, The Rose Lawn. Home Journal, Volume 1, Issue 3. George Agar, a ringing brother, brother's circuit giant, used the stage name Carter Giant. He was, an, he was an act in Harold, he was to act in Harold Lloyd's 1923 comedy film, Why, Why? But he died shortly after the following started sparking a new search for a replacement. 
H.P. Lovecraft, short story, Out of the Aryans, mentions the Clodus Giant, contrasting it with the real mummies of the display, fictional cupboard museum of archaeology, Boston, Massachusetts. The 1921, the 2001 film made was produced by production company, Carter's Giant, the same name, Vince Vaughn, John Javarez, characters were told to check in under when arriving in New York. In 2011, artist T.Y. Marshall created a full-size Carter's Giant replica made of hypertubula for a conservation in, in Syracuse, New York, on the, 20, on, the 120, on the 142nd anniversary of the discovery of the giant. October 16th, 2011.